Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. It's me, John Green. We are, of course, the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers, and we are playing Brighton and Hove Albion. Uh, it's a big game for Swindon Town. We got to win this one. We only have three games left in the the uh, the season after this one. Uh, one of which is the FA Cup final. So, here we go. Uh, and also today, I'm going to tell you stories. Someone requested that I tell uh, stories about the first time that I got drunk. So that is the story that I'm going to tell you. Uh, but I should preface that story by saying that uh, you shouldn't get drunk, uh, as this story will illustrate, um, and that uh, all the sort of romanticization of American uh, drinking in college, all of this binge drinking, it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to me a as an American, and it's also just embarrassing to me um, as, as a human, because college is a wonderful opportunity to study and spend actual time focused on the business of learning, and it makes me sad when people spend most of their time in college uh, drinking alcohol. All that said, um, I, I mean, whether you're like fervently opposed to binge drinking or a fervent binge drinker, I think generally we spend too much time like thinking about binge drinking and, as a rule. Anyway, the first time I got drunk was my freshman year of college, and it was an extremely embarrassing story, and I shall tell it to you now. Um, this was not the first time I ever had a drink. This was the first time I ever got like legitimately drunk. And as it happened, I got very drunk. There was a party in my uh, freshman dorm which was Mather. I went to Kenyon College in Gambier, Ohio, um, and it was uh, winter. It was very cold. There was quite a bit of snow on the ground outside. That will become relevant later. And um, I am from, you know, the warmer climates, uh, Alabama, Florida, that kind of thing. And um, there was beer at this party. I drank quite a bit of it, and I became uh, drunk. Drunk to the point where I was, you know, not, um, not, not, I would, I mean, I was conscious, obviously, but I wasn't totally aware of my actions, as will soon become evident. So, um, we decided at some point to go outside. Um, it was a bunch of friends, a bunch of my, like, people from my, my freshman dorm. Um, great friends, really great people, and in the end they saved my life, so I'm grateful to them. But uh, basically I was really drunk, and we were outside, and we were on a hill, um, but there was no... Uh, there, there were no sleds or anything, and there was much talk about how we wished that there was a sled. And then, then my friend Dave, who by the way is now a lawyer, um, and like a very successful lawyer, successful enough that I maybe shouldn't tell you his last name. Um, my friend Dave, uh, he uh, was patting me on the back like really hard, and then he suddenly patted me on the back like super extra hard, and I began to, uh, to tumble, to tumble down uh, the hill in my drunken state. And because I was uh, intoxicated, and, and intoxication is sometimes associated with uh, things like um, getting sick to your stomach, while I was uh, rolling down the hill, if you can sort of picture me um, rolling, you know, uh, down the hill um, with my, my body, you know, perpendicular to the angle, I, I, I don't know. You, you know, I was rolling down the hill, right? As I was rolling down the hill, I began to vomit. Um, and then because I was sort of, you know, f rolling head over heels, I was essentially, you know, vomiting all over my, my own body. Um, I was, you know, pretty much, pretty much covering myself in vomit because I would, I would vomit as I spun down the hill. Um, and then, of course, like, you know, the act of spinning down the hill made the vomiting worse because I was, um, you know, I was, was getting sick, nauseated by the spinning as well as by the, by the drunkenness, etc. So um, I got to the bottom of the hill uh, and I was, uh, you know, I was like lying in, in about a foot of snow and I was covered in my own, um, my own vomit. And uh, so yeah, I mean, if you need more evidence for why binge drinking is a bad idea, I don't know how it could get, <laughs> I don't know how you could get a story that more evidence than this. Anyway, oh, other John Green, finisher! Yes! Great job, Other John Green. That was a bad first half for our boys, the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers, but they finally came through. That's great. Great stuff. He's got a brilliant puff. Um, so I get to the bottom of the hill, covered in my own vomit and lying in a foot of snow, and I do what anyone would do in that situation, which is that I decide that I'm going to go to sleep. Now, of course, if I had gone to sleep, uh, I would have died. And that actually happened to a kid that I went to college with. Um, and it happens every year uh, on lots of college campuses in America. And it is a very, very uh, sad thing. Um, 
it, uh, you know, it's it's a mistake that you can't unmake, and um, and it, uh, anyway, I I am really really lucky uh, that my friends said um, uh, they you know they went they walked down the hill and picked me up, even though I was covered in my own vomit, and they carried me up the hill. And um, I was sort of like half asleep, I guess, according to them. I remember nothing after this, for the record. Um, everything after this is, is b based on, uh, you know, what I've been able to put together from stories that I've been told. And, oh, we needed a through ball. I'm so bad at through balls. I'm so, I don't never know when to hit Y. So they carry me up the, uh, they carry me up the, the slope back to my dorm. And uh, it's 1-0 at halftime here. Back to my dorm, and I guess I, as they're like carrying me toward the dorm room, toward my dorm room to put me to sleep, um, I wake up, and I'm really grossed out apparently. And I say, "Listen, I I just need to take a shower. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to bed like this. This is I, I, this is reprehensible. I'm not sure I used that word necessarily, but I was just you know I was like, "Listen, guys, just let me take a shower, and um, and then I'll go to bed." And I didn't want anybody to see me shower, you know. These were my, my friends. A couple of them were female. I didn't want them to, like, watch me in the shower or anything. So I was like, just, you know, just leave me alone to take a shower. So um, I, I, I guess I must have taken a shower, um, <laughs> I think, because uh, next time I was seen, um, I, my hair was wet, which would indicate that I had taken a shower. And I was wearing, um, thank God, some clothes, uh, although not, uh, not as many as one would associate with a January evening um, in a semi-public space. Uh, but the next time I was seen, it was at my friend, uh, I'm not going to say his last name because he's, he's a nice guy, he's now, now also uh, doing quite well for himself, has a family, probably doesn't want to be reminded of this story. Um, next time I was seen was outside the, uh, the room of a friend of mine. And uh, I walked into his, his room, and his, he wasn't there, but his roommate was there. Um, I won't tell you his roommate's real name, but I will say that his nickname was Sully. And so uh, he, Sully was, was studying for a test. It was a Saturday night, but stu Sully was, uh, w you know, w was doing what, what you're supposed to do in college, which is to use uh, the opportunity that has been afforded you um, in order to uh, become you know, a smarter, more engaged citizen of the world. And uh, he was just sitting in his corner working on a paper, so he told me later. And uh, I said, uh, hey, Sully. <laughs> he said, he said, how's it going, John? Uh, and I said, oh, it's going good. And then I, I uh, you know, it's two, two beds in that room. This is important. Ball, John Green. No. Oh, it was Jay McGovern. I don't even know his first name. I just know that he's a little. He's a little, little man. Look at that. He gets like a head shorter. That's great to see some other people than John Green scoring in this game. Great job, Jay McGovern. Can you guys tell me what his first name should be? Um, he scored a couple times before, and you still have not come up with a good first name for him. I would appreciate that. So, um, right, so Sully says, uh, what you doing? And I said, nothing, I got really drunk tonight. And he was like, yeah, I, I can kind of tell. And then I said, um, nothing, because what I didn't stand, the have to picture there are two, bed, two beds in this room. Sully is over in the corner by one bed, and then I am, like, standing next to the other bed, which is the bed of my friend, a person who I like and, and, and I am friends with and, and I have, a, you know, a solid relationship with. And I pull up his comforter, um, and then I pull up his, his top sheet, and then I pull up his fitted sheet, and then I pull up the, like, mattress pad. So it's just, at uh, Kenyon, we had these vinyl mattresses, pr presumably to, to deal with this very situation. And uh, I pull up everything, so it's just the bare vinyl mattress. And, um, and Sully says, uh, what, you, what, you, what you doing there, John Green? And I said, oh, nothing, I just got to pee. And Sully says, well, uh, you know, it's not the number one place to pee. Um, and I said, don't worry about it. I'm going to put everything right back <laughs> like it was <laughs> when I'm done. Um, and I proceeded to pee on this guy's bed. And then I proceeded to put all the sheets <laughs> right back like they were. Paul John Green scores. I can't even celebrate because I'm too humiliated in the middle of this story. Um, and so that's what I did. I peed on this guy's bed, and then I put his sheets back so he would never know, I guess, um, as if there wouldn't be further evidence. I mean, the amazing thing is that I had come from the bathroom where I had taken a shower. 
So like on some level, I mean, the op it's not like there was no urination opportunity available to me. It was something in my drunken brain told me like, you need to go to this place and pee there. <laughs> um, and uh, so, you know, my friend comes home a few hours later and uh, there's a note from Sully uh, saying you, you don't want to get in bed because um, John Green has peed in your bed. And uh, my friend came to my room and woke me up and he was understandably a little annoyed and he's basically, oh wow, that was almost a beautiful header goal from Ball John Green. Basically said, um, you're going to have to stay up all night washing my sheets. And he was like, I would sleep in your bed, except that it is covered in filth, and I never uh, want to uh, be associated with you or anything that belongs to you ever again. So I washed his bed. Uh, I washed all his sheets. I stayed up all night washing his sheets. And just generally humiliating, you know? Like, I mean, aside from the... Aside from the terrible thing that I'd done to my friend, there was also the matter of all of my friends being like, and also everyone else at Kenyon just being like, what the hell is wrong with that guy? So um, let that be a lesson to you. All things in moderations, moderation, moderations, moderation, my friends, uh, as, as the Buddha said, let us take the middle path. So that's the story of the first time I got drunk. Um, it did a relatively good job, although perhaps not good enough of discouraging me from uh, further exploits on that front. Um, thank you for asking that question. Sorry that the answer was so disgusting. Congratulations to the Swindon Town Swoodily Poopers on a historic victory. And um, there are three games left in the season. I will not see you and you will not see me, but you will hear me next time on We Play FIFA or whatever. Best wishes!